Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews resume preparation and review and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Have no what is the task is good or bad? Depends on how many people in the QA, depends on the project and the project scope, right? If it is a small project, maybe you will get one tester. If it is a big project, maybe five, six testers. Depends on the project and the size of the project and how big it is, okay? From one to five, six, even some, some big projects, you will get ten testers also. Depends, okay? They are going to press, they are going to test different products. Okay, so basically, like though the product is same, but who is this? <laughs> okay, the product is same, but uh, you you are going to get different different applications in the same products. So if you look at say AT and T is a product, but under AT and T you get different products, right? So like web applications or cell phone applications or internet applications, there, there are different products that the at and will send. So you're going to work on specific product testing, okay, not everything. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Um, I think the first test case looks good to me. Select many options, how much you want to withdraw. But only thing is, um, we also provide some dummy data, right? Say how much money you want to withdraw. Okay, just I want to withdraw some, okay, $500 or $300. And then you can also check here the conditions. Usually like in the ATMs, you have some conditions, right? You cannot withdraw not more than $300 or something per day. Correct? Yeah, those are the, those are the things really important when you test it. That's what, like here you are going to say, okay, uh, you are trying to withdraw $500, but the condition is, the limit is $300, and then it displays a message, okay, no, you are not allowed to withdraw not more than $300. And also, once you withdraw $300, you are trying to withdraw one more $300, then it says no, per day it is one time you can withdraw. Okay, so those are the things really you have to focus um, when you when you write the test cases because that's what actually the interviewer wants to know whether you really check those conditions, what kind of validations you did, they are really important. Okay. okay. And then what is the uh, deposit checks? Okay, can you scroll down? Oh, that is actually incomplete. Or you didn't compare this one? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Let's get let's get to me like uh, the first one. We draw test cases, but uh, you have to really validate those conditions. You have to put uh, uh, some more steps in the same test case to validate those conditions. What's the limit, and how many times you can withdraw money, okay. um, and also you provide some dummy data. Okay, and the test case name was I right now? Yeah. And also, like uh, once you once you withdraw money, like again you go and uh, check back your balance, right? Like how many balance left? So those are the things like you have to really focus. What's the balance left after withdraw money? Okay. So you go and check because those are the things that are really working. That's what mainly the integration, the workflow, right? So even the customer also does the same thing. Always remember when you you are a tester means. You work on behalf of the user. The tester is nothing but internal user, right? When the develop when the application is developing, you are the internal user tester. So you are going to look at how the customer, how the user is going to use your application. So you always look at that 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 perspective, okay? And then, okay, the user is going to log in. Okay, first let me log in, and then user withdraw money. Okay, let me withdraw money. And then the user is going to check balance after withdraw money. Okay, let me do that. So that's how actually you are you are going to think of the workflows, how it works in real time, right? All right. So let's get to me. Good, good, good. Excellent. All right. Um, any anybody having any questions or anybody did the test cases? You are online. Okay, can you join? Can you join this webex so that online people can see it? Huh? Oh, you don't have the link. Okay. No, I didn't send because you need to confirm with those people. Did you confirm with them? No. Yeah. Then you will get emails. Anyway. Okay. Um. Already, so good one. Just give me a couple of minutes, guys, because uh, he don't, he's not on the WebEx. Uh, I'm going to just quickly review his test cases in the class. Okay. Uh, forgot it. Okay, invalid pin. Test ATM. Test login function with invalid pin. Working ATM machine. Is this also a withdraw? The the second one. Withdrawing money. Okay. Oh, just locked. Okay. What is that you you mentioned? Okay. Forget to enter the amount. Okay. What is the amount you want to withdraw? Please enter the amount. Okay, looks good to me, but uh, you have to come up with more detailed stats actually, like how she did, right? See, she did. Uh, very detailed steps, right? Okay, first you need to insert the card, and then it asks for the PIN, and then you're going to enter the PIN. That's how actually you're going to come up with more elaborate steps. So what you did is like you you just did one step, and then that does everything. It's not it's not so clear. Um, but here, when you when when you look at the uh, uh, other test case, right? So it looks uh, it looks clear. Okay, this is these are the steps like you have to follow. Because for each step, like what you do, and then uh, it's going to give you the response, right? That's how actually it should be. She she did. Okay, first you're going to insert the uh, the card, right? And then it asks the pin number. 
the ATM is going to ask a PIN number. Okay, then the next step you are going to enter the PIN number. Then what the what what the system does. That's actually your your steps. If it does something, then you expect something from the system. And then you do something else and then system expects something, right? That's how you test. Otherwise, like if you write one step uh, um, just one step that, that does everything like okay, withdraw money, then that's not so clear. Right? So that's how actually like uh, when you look at our test cases, this is how you actually have to do. Okay? Good. How about you? You are done in Notepad? What? What happened? Yeah, do it. Like open your laptop. I want, I want you to do no, no, no pen and paper on the system. Do it. You people are having, you people are having big, big laptops, but you are, those laptops are sleeping in your bags. <laughs> That's right. Don't let them sleep. Okay. Um, anybody else? Online or on site research cases? Okay. So please do this. Whenever I just uh, give you the assignments of the homework, please try to do this. That way you learn the things. Otherwise, as long as you are in the class, Okay, you feel like, okay, I know everything. But once you move out of this door, then everything is blank. Unless if you don't do practice, you don't learn anything. What? Yeah, that is the one. Yeah. No, huh? This is the email. This, this, is a, this is a confirmation, and then they are going to send me your mail ID. Then I will send it. No, they didn't so far. Okay, yeah. Yeah, probably like I'm going to get all your mail IDs for your reason, right? So I, I will get your mail IDs um, by today evening. Okay. You can keep it on the table. Oh, that is Windows update. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, any questions? No. Okay. So now let's. Uh, go ahead and uh, continue with the test cases. So yesterday we did uh, till FR03, right? The test cases. Okay. What is the test case? What is the test case? Mm -hmm. What is the data? And also remember, whenever the interviewer asks the questions, okay, 
please remember always you have to give an example always it's not something like uh, uh, you say okay task is just step by step okay no that's not going to work you have to say task is just step by step process and also you have to say for example if you look at the login test case what are the steps involved is enter username password and click okay button and the expect result is login successful that's how you have to explain in the interviews okay always an example then interviewer ask what is this data now tell me how you answer that Now, what is test data? User input required to test the fun uh, functionality. User input needed. User input needed to test the functionality. For example, if you take the login, a user ID, user ID is uh, like uh, five to ten characters. Then we have to provide that data. Five to ten characters alphabet. Yeah. So we have to provide the data that is the test data. Correct. Okay. So user ID, um, the test data is the user input required to test the functionality. For example, in order to test the login, I need the user ID and password. What I am going to use to login, right? Okay. What are the different types of data? What is the different types of test data? Development data, QA data, production data. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. So development, QA, and production. These are the three environments actually in any project. Development environment, QA environment, and production. Development environment is where the developers are going to develop the application. and then they push that application to qa environment that's where you are going to test it and then after you test it it goes to the production right that's where it goes to the customer these are the three environments what is test plan Test plan is a document that describes the scope, approach, resources, and testing activities. Uh huh. It identifies the test items, the features to be tested, what are what are the tasks, and uh, what are the tasks who will do which task, and any risks and its uh, solutions. Okay. Good. Good. So test plan is a document. right so that contains uh, anyway you need to write it down so i'm going to send this class notes okay because i didn't i didn't get all your mail ids that's why i didn't send but i'm going to send it today evening okay no need to write anything in the class okay just listen okay so i'm going to send this notepad notes by email so test test plan is uh, basically it's a uh, project document that contains your project uh, scope what is what you are going to test right the resources and what are the tools that you are going to use and that contains this this document okay yeah pm is going to prepare the test plan Yeah, this we are going to commit the schedules, right? Okay, we are going to start this project on first uh, of June, and then we have to complete by first of September. So those are the schedules. Then we are going to work on the duration on this project, because those are the schedules we are we are going to commit to the customer. And here we are going to start on our project on first of June, and then we can deliver the project by first of September. So once you commit the schedules by rain or shine, you have to do it. Okay. Otherwise, uh, like what happens is um, most of the projects they do it, but few projects they fail to commit those schedules. 
because of different reasons, right? Then what happens, you know? Instead of the customer pay to you, you have to pay to the customer. Because there is a, there is, everything is written in the agreement clearly. If you don't meet this schedule, you have to pay this commission, this penalty to customer. That's what there, there are some projects wind up paying to the customer because you didn't commit the space, complete on the schedule. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not the PM. Uh, yeah, you can. You can. If any changes that you need, that you feel on the project, maybe most of those are the requirement changes, right? Yeah, just you can. The better decision maker is the business analyst. And the business analyst has to make any requirement changes. Though you can talk to your project manager, but the project manager is not the decision maker. Business analyst is the decision maker whether we can make those requirement changes or not. Anything related to the requirements, the final other is the business analyst. Okay? Because he has to approve whether we are going to implement those requirements or not. All right, so now uh, let's. Uh, so these are the requirements, that is fine. If you don't have requirements in the project, then how you test it? Exploratory testing. Exploratory testing. What is meant by exploratory testing? And the, I think in, in that case, probably you'll like approach to somebody who has done the same kind of test cases earlier, either your senior or anybody, anybody else, you know, in your team. Who is the experienced guy, you know? Mm -hmm. might, might have done something, the same kind of test cases before, but probably mm -hmm. try to find something on a <laughs> Google. Okay. Okay, so if you don't have this kind of requirements document, right? In some projects, like you, you don't get this document from business analyst. He says, no, I didn't prepare any requirements. There are no requirements as such for this project. But there is an application. There is no requirements document. Then how do you do that? Right? So as I mentioned, like we're going to do some exploratory testing. What is exploratory? So you're going to explore yourself, okay, how to how to test this. Say for example, you're testing some application in banking, right? So you're going to look at uh, any such applications are tested before in the company. You ask different people, hey, is anybody having any experience to test this kind of applications? You go and talk to them, how they tested, and what are the what are the functionality they tested? Uh, like, do they have any test cases done at that time? So those are the things you're going to explore, or you Google it and then say, okay, how to test this banking application? Then you will get some kind of. And also, you go and talk to business and this. Hey, because there are no requirements. So do you have any solutions how to test this? Okay, these are the things that are involved as part of your exploratory testing, right? If you don't have the requirements. So you go and talk to different people and try to get as much information as possible and then do, t do your testing, okay? Because as such, nothing is put on the document. Okay, so now let's look at this FR04 because uh, uh, it's not something like the login, right? So now I want you to look at this FR04. This is the requirements, right, till here. Yeah. So this is the requirement. Um, just read this. And uh, just you explain me what is this requirement and uh, what mainly we are doing here in this particular requirement. Okay, what is the functionality we are testing? Just read this a couple of times. Try to understand what this requirement is. And then explain me what actually the user is doing in this requirement. 
After that, we are going to write the test cases. Done? No, this. Okay. What is that main functionality in this requirement? What the user is trying to do? Hmm? Make payment? Yeah. Bill pay, right? He is trying to make pay his bill. How he is doing that? So what are the options that the user is using to pay his bill? To pay his bill? Yeah, no, what is it? See, the system is going to get... That's right. Once the system displays the options, what are the options that the user is using to pay his bill? Pay by check, pay by credit. Pay by check one time payment. <laughs> Those are the options that the system displays, but the what the how the user is paying. Pay by check. One pay time by payment. check. One time, one time payment. payment, right? So basically the user is selecting these options. See the system is going to display these options. User is allowed to pay pay the bill with these following options. But out of this the user is selecting just pay by check and one time. Right? The user selects pay by check and one time. That means he is paying by check, not by credit. And then, okay, once you select those things, then you say enter this following information. Right? That means what the user is trying to do here is he is not entering the correct information. Obviously, if checking account number means it should be a number. But he is entering the character, some ABC. It should be something like 1, 2, 3. But he is entering ABC characters. Right? And then, so it's something like the negative testing. Right? And then system is going to display this option A. Because you are entering, you enter wrong information. So that's why, uh, there are the errors that the system is going to display. And then it says like, uh, uh, you have to enter the numbers, not the characters. Okay, so that is about this requirement. Mainly it's talking about if the user enters a wrong account number, or routing or amount, then what happens on the system? That is the requirement and the user is trying to pay his bill using check and one-time payment. Okay, clear? That's what I said. You need to study the requirement a couple of times and then um, just try to understand what this requirement is and then if you have any questions then you go and talk to your colleagues like how you are doing, right? Okay, just to, because always like if you discuss with somebody else then you will get more clarity on the requirements, right? So discuss with other team members and then see what the requirement is and then in the next step is you are going to put up the test cases. Okay? Yeah, you can also discuss, right? You can also Hello.
That's right. So you have to be careful. First you do your groundwork before you go to that person, right? If it is something like, okay, the login, then you go and see like where it, where, what is this username, then that doesn't make any sense. Right? That's some, something like uh, that person feels like it's a silly question. Whereas something like here, okay, what are you doing? Uh, okay, because I didn't get the user is selecting pay by check or one time payment. Yeah, you can ask that kind of question. There's nothing wrong. But you do a lot of groundwork before you approach any person in the project. Yeah. Yeah, this is this are the yeah, these are the real time scenarios, right? Mm hmm Yeah, we will work. We will work some more complicated. Like we are we are going slowly, right? <laughs> you will you will get some more complicated. Okay? Slowly. So this is uh, this is this is not so complicated, yesterday what we did the login task, right? Otherwise like once I start with this F zero four to yesterday itself, then I don't see anybody in the classroom today. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you will get this this mail actually from a history once you enroll. I think you might have already got it. So I will go through the training material. Okay. You might have already got all these documents in your mail. Okay. The moment you enroll, you will get uh, all these documents. We will go through that. I will go through the training material, the folders and everything. Alright, um, Sam. Yeah. Uh, here, checking account number characters, banking, uh, routing number characters, amount characters, right? This is one test case, right? Yeah. Uh, so, can we write down another one, uh, like the checking account number is numeric, banking routing number is characters, amount is numeric, like that also? That that covers in a different requirement. See, if you go back to F zero six, that's where that's they are talking about all the numbers. Uh, no, no, I'm saying one account one account account number is the characters, routing number is numbers, amount number is amount is numbers. So we we have we can write down like that also if if it is not in the requirement. Yeah, you can do that. So basically, like you can do that. That covers different data variations. Okay, if it is not in the requirement also, we can write down, right? Yeah, you can try, you can write it. Those are the different data variations. Okay, thank you. All right. So, so everybody is clear on the requirement, right? Okay, write down the test case. Yesterday? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So that we talk later. Automated testing is maybe... So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020 337 
1715. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.